Quick update video on finger motion. I believe we are ready to go round two and possibly go parabolic into earnings. Now, again, before we start, if you don't mind just smashing that like button, clicking subscribe, and also turning on those post notifications, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, finger motion has been heavily on my radar. I called this out on Friday at $1.68, $1.69. I've been telling everyone anything under $150, i am going to continue to gobble up and accumulate. I know there's many people that have been buying all down here, and they're up massive. So I'm very happy for those people that were taking advantage of this dip buying opportunity. Let's just say conservatively, you got somewhere at $140. All the way up here, it's about 78%, where we are currently 52% on a very short-term return on investment. Again, I still am looking more long-term for finger motion. But it's nice to just see your account as you're gobbling up and accumulating, dropping that dollar cost average on a very short term view, 50, 60 percent up is fantastic. So with finger motion, I would not sleep on this. I believe revenues are going to be ridiculous just because we know they're rolling out everything that we mentioned over the past six to eight months with the cell phone insurance in China with AIZ or Assurant, which is that massive insurance company on the New York Stock Exchange that Martin Shen, the CEO, has mentioned before. So again, um, I really do think that there is a massive short here between Lynn Partners or Lynn Global. We know that they retired the convertible debt note with them, so there's nothing legally binding them to the business anymore, which is fantastic. The same exact thing that happened with GTII and Geneva Roth. Once they paid off the loan, nothing legally bind them. Stock went parabolic. We saw the same thing with finger motion. And I believe we're ready for round two here. Now, do I believe that this is going to be a top like squeeze? No, I'm not going to sit there and give you that sort of hope. But it is very possible because a lot of these Chinese stocks have been extremely popular lately. And top just squeezed from 7 to 260 on the NASDAQ. Most of these stocks that are ripping are on the NASDAQ, which is very important. Now, we could look at some other ones. HLP, MINM, LGHL, Meagle, Top, UCAR, right? A lot of them that we saw have been going parabolic. They're all on the NASDAQ. So... I'm going to keep my eyes on finger motion. I recommend you do the same. I'm not telling you to buy or sell. I never do that. It's not financial advice. But to not uh, to not have this on your radar, to sleep on this stock, I think would be very unwise. Okay? So I'm not telling you to buy. That's you and your job to do your own research. But I believe it's very safe to keep this on the top of your radar. And it very possible can go parabolic if we break out above this 250 range. Okay, last, what I think is really interesting is the free circulating float is only a handful of millions. It's five, six million, maybe, give or take. And we saw 140 million shares trade in one week, over 73 million in one day. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's exponentially greater than anything we've seen. And again, I believe it was a little bit of short covering, not necessarily just washing back and forth because we saw a lot of volatility as well. Okay, it went from 60 cents all the way to $10. It wasn't like it went up a point or two off of of 100 million shares. But even so, on the on the first week, 40 million, another 40, that's 180. And then another 30, that's 210 million shares traded in a three-week period. And the stock went up nearly 10x. So something unusual definitely happened here. I believe a lot of shares were created synthetically. I believe that it expanded the float. Again, not naturally. It wasn't created by the actual company. It was created by these nefarious actors that, again, create the appearance of being friendly when we know on the back end, they're actually trying to exploit the company and take advantage of them. So it's very easy to just look on the surface, read a document and say, hey, I know the entire picture of, of the story here. You don't. OK, this is a very powerful, very dominant company um, that could play out in the next 12 to 24 months. Now, is it at that hundred million revenue right now? No. Is it a multi-billion dollar, multi-hundred million dollar company right now? No, but I believe it has the potential to be. That's the difference, okay? We understand the story. I've been watching a lot of interviews with Martin Shen, the CEO, okay? He's doing very good things right now in terms of just PR for the company. So I, again, like I said, my job here is to just give you the tools, give you the platform to do your own research, to get a little bit of insight into my brain, see how I like to look at things. So here, very tight cap structure, no need to dilute, no need to raise capital anymore from my knowledge. Okay, a massive, massive insurance company that they're partnering with essentially going to be the middleman and allow them to come into China and insure every single cell phone. That would be 1.5 billion phones. And it doesn't stop there. There's many other verticals or avenues they can go down in terms of EV, battery, life insurance, and also 
other similar uh, demographics that we see in Southeast Asia, again, that the CEO mentioned personally. So that's my quick update on finger motion. Again, like I said, at the bare minimum, just keep it on your radar. I think if we can get above 250, even above this 200 day right here, this is sort of the resistance that I see 280, 296, somewhere there, as long as we break this top. And I think that we could be off to the races. So again, um, I personally don't hold finger motion at this moment. But again, um, I do want to start a position here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to accumulate any more under $2. It might take off anything under these levels. I'm going to be a buyer here. But like I said, I have not bought. I have not sold anything. So I just want to, again, bring it to your attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the GTI update to come. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.